Hello, hello, YouTube. <clears throat> Sorry, I was just drank some of my tea. But I'm here to do the March readings currently on the sign of Libra. I think I'm going to do Libra right now. So let's just get into it. Divine forces of unconditional love of the highest macrocosm. What does the sign of Libra need to know for their highest good? Please and thank you for hearing these great messages to guide and direct them. And what? And perhaps need to focus on for this month of March. Alright. Let's see if we can. Discipline for the first week. Indecision we have here. N B and then trust okay bottom of the deck we have imagination i embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind so perhaps you need to um, exercise a little bit more discipline in your meditation practices so that you can see clearly and the things that you need to do that you can act decisively Again, because so the indecision card it says here, I use my intuition, my intuition, in all aspects of my life. So, but in order for you to be able to access the messages of your intuition, you must be able to quiet and still, you know, your energies, patience. So you're getting a lot of the same cards that uh, Capricorn received. Bottom of the deck is the path. Okay. So the path that you're on is going to require a lot of uh, creativity. A lot of imagination. Uh, in Libra, you guys, you know, have that in, in abundance you know you should is you know your air you're your, um, very intelligent you very much in your thoughts um, but spirit is asking you to hone that uh, gift of intelligence of thoughts of being able to think on your feet quickly hone that energy um, discipline it says I can accomplish what I set my mind to and then we have release so we need to release any doubt that you may have and in order to do that you must definitely make sure you uh, nurture your relationship with spirit because you're going through a transformation here with the death card here there is an ending um, coming along exactly ten of ones there's an ending happening um, and the Ten of Wands is a transformation as well, but it's a conscious transformation. Again, your air, um, you're very intellectual. Seer of branches. So, uh, there's a message of an opportunity. And you see this opportunity coming in, but you must be disciplined in re making sure that you release those things that may be... Um, impeding your path which could be you trusting in yourself trusting and trusting in your intuition not allowing outside forces to come in and distract you ace of uh, feathers exactly um that's communic that's uh, communication from spirit coming in clarity power triumph you know spirit wants to empower you to again to be very diligent um uh, with the things that you allow to take space in your uh, mental capacities because there are some things perhaps that is uh, distracting you from your path and I feel like those things that are distracting you are is you and your limiting thoughts about what you're able to do but spirit is coming in here with the ace of uh, feathers with the ace of swords saying no stop doing this to yourself trust be stand in power stand in uh the fact that you know what you know 
You know what you know. Trust your intuition. Trust the power of your creative mind. Embrace and nourish that. Not this energy. It's time for you to be disciplined in releasing those neg that negative self talk, Libra. So, second week of uh, March, we have indecision and patience. So, things may not be clear right now. And that's probably what ha has you in this state of maybe panic. Feeling like, oh, nothing is going to work out. Nothing is working out. That's not true. That's not true. Four of shells. We have to trust in divine timing. Again, have patience. We're in this, you're in the state of indecision. But trust in divine timing. Have, put your faith in divine timing. Um, and again, like I said, take the time that you need to um, nurture your intuition. As you are the star, as we are the eliminator, illuminator. So there is something that is being illuminated for you, but you just have to be patient and trust divine timing. Um, and whatever is being illuminated was, is going to help you with this indecision. And perhaps that, again, what's being illuminated is the fact that you, you know, speaking negatively within yourself and you're you're pretty much blocking your own path but once you come into that knowledge and you take the action to overcome that new passionate beginnings is what spirit is waiting to bless you with yes new passionate beginning a passionate uh guide to heal with the six of cups here to heal that negative self-talk so that you can go out and step out with passion in delivering your message to the world, your purpose, going, this is the secret, this is the night. It's all about taking the action. The wand's energy is all about wisdom as well. Maybe you're here to teach the masses, right? So, that two of feathers, that could be the indecision, overcoming that, and you're going to overcome that because you see here, the blessing and it's so funny the the page of uh shell's card is you know an une unexpected blessing coming in you know it's like this penguin saw a shell but he didn't expect there to be a fish in there he didn't expect to have you know and you know maybe they're they're talking and becoming best friends and just an unexpected gift coming up and it's so funny and that unexpected gift could be you know a finite financial windfall or you breaking generational curses or creating a generation legacy who knows but again that <laughs> and i think it, it could possibly be a, a, a money coming in for you because we have envy and the unexpected right right after we just had the page of cups which i was talking about is you know kind of like that unexpected coming or it could be again unexpected envy coming because of the work that you're doing that you're no longer you you just there's just been a shift you know a true transformation and people are seeing it and it was like they're like oh my gosh I'm not going to be able to um experience libra like I used to um I'm not really seeing much energy of people taking advantage of you this is just a tr uh, you know just a, a, a transformation within again a conscious transformation the unexpected uh, but perhaps you know that has come from you know people without you outside of you but you're having victory over that with the six of uh, ones coming out yes you've been through the fire and you are ascending you're coming out unscathed you are fireproof now because again you've done the work in the energy of standing your ground you're no longer confused you're no longer indecisive you're trusting the brilliance of your mind and the protection and love and guidance of your heart now you're back on your path you have you know created 
a, 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 a action plan, a discipline within yourself that is going to keep you out of this energy of delay, you know, because you do see things from a different perspective now. You're standing in your power and, you know, some people may be envious of that, but you just stay focused on your sacred path. judgment stay focused on your 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 uh paths path and we have here matt and it says this is a judgment card and it says masters of discernment exactly you are discerned you're being very diligent and very disciplined and the negative thoughts that may come into your mind and you're releasing them in, in, in instantly immediately which is going to help you to garner patience for yourself overcome any indecision which is going to bring about a beautiful blessing, a windfall of blessings to you. You know, unexpected blessings coming in. Beautiful. Because you have, you know, engaged in this queen of one energy and taking things into, taking matters into your own hand. You know, along with working with spirit. You know, knowing that you are a co-creator. Yes. Okay, so before I go into that, we're in the last week of March here with the Faith and Trust card. The Trust card says here, I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. And look, yes, the High Priestess card. Libra, you are the High Priestess. Or you're, or you're tapping in, you're walking in your high priestess energy. If you're a male, you're a high priest. You know, um, don't get caught up in the queen, king, uh, gender-ish things of the reading. We all have that energy within us. And so that could just be the energy that is prevalent at this time. Um, the energy that is more potent. But, yes, overcoming all of this, facing, you know those that negative self talk it's going to bring you into a place of trust of trusting your intuition which is going to bring you to your nine of cups which is your wish fulfillment you know that, that has brought about the wish fulfillment that's probably why the envy card came out here as well you have people envying you because you are moving forward which is going to bring in this could be communication a message um, coming in or this could be people spying on you you know, you're walking in trust and in faith and it got people looking at you like, what are they doing? And how can I, you know, do that? Yes. The Eight of Pentacles. You're doing the work. You're perfecting, you're growing, you're evolving. And again, this is going to give you the confidence to go out and do the same. Nurturer of uh, fossils, which is the queen of pentacles being stable within your energy um success financial financially being pregnant with creative ideas it could be a pregnancy as well who knows um but you're abundant in faith and in trust now because you've done the work you've liberated yourself you've brought about uh, a balance within your life here with the six of fossils you brought about a balance and you're only accepting balance in your life equal give and take you're not um, accepting energies that of unrequited love overcoming you know again that negative self talk or just the negative self talk of people or you know things like that here shadow god of liberation the devil card right you have faced your shadow self and liberated yourself Ooh. well you better do the damn thing labor let's see bottom of the deck bison of fossils again that gift of um, security of love of fight you know gift of financial uh stability coming in you have manifested that you have manifested yourself to be back onto your path. Yes, to overcome fear. This is below. And worry. 
and tapping into the energy of purity and of growth. You've done it. You're manifesting your stability. And then we have the king of fossils underneath that. So you could be manifesting, you know, a beautiful relationship. Could be manifesting your business, you know, moving forward and progressing and being success very successful as we have the king and queen of pentacles, okay? It's the king and queen of the coin, of the money, okay? So beautiful, beautiful reading. Trust yourself, trust your inner guide. Don't allow any negative thoughts to take up space in your head. And it ain't paying rent. If it's not benefiting you, it has no room in your mind hotel. Okay. You're not leasing. You're not. No. It's, it's full. <laughs> the hotel is at capacity. No room for bullshit. All right, Libra. Well, I hope that helped you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. And until next time, peace.